Hi, I'm Peter from A Suit That Fits, and this is how to measure for a suit. So, before we be begin, uh, there's a couple things you're going to need for this. First, obviously, is a pad of paper and a pen, so you can mark down the measurements that you've taken. I'm going to put that down for a moment. You will also need a measuring tape to take measurements. Um, a traditional tailor like ourselves will take over 20 measurements for a customer, but these are just going to be the basic measurements that you may need in your day-to-day -day buying of clothing. Uh, firstly, we're going to start with the neck. So the way we would take a neck measurement is you need to make sure that um, the, the person who's taking your measurements makes sure that your neck is nice and widely open and you want to take the circumference from the base of the neck. So you need to work the tape in down to the bottom of the collar. So this is going to be below the Adam's apple. Um, and this is generally the widest part of the neck, so it's the most important reason why you would want to take it there. Um, you also want to leave a little bit of space, so about a finger's width worth of room in between the tape and the neck, just to give it a little bit more ease of wear. Um, so in the case of David here, we'd be talking about 14 and 3 quarters would be the neck measurement. Okay, so secondly, something that is worth taking measurements for for a jacket, you won't have this in off the peg, but you certainly do have this opportunity when it comes to bespoke garments, is shoulder width measurement. So the way that we take the shoulder width measurement is we run the tape from the armhole, if you just turn David, from the armhole where it meets the jacket back on this side, and you want to run it all the way across the back so the tape is running just below the collar, and bring it to the other side. So, on the case of David, we'd be talking about 18 inches is the width of his shoulders. This is your chest measurement, so you want to run it across the back, then over and through. Make sure that you're getting the widest part of the chest so that the, um, theoretically, the tape should be running across what would be the nipples on David. And make sure, again, you've got about a finger's worth of tape in between uh, the, the tape itself and the body, and in this case we'd be talking about 38 inches. Okay, and next up we want to take a jacket waist measurement, so again if you would raise your arms. Um, in this case we wouldn't expect a customer to be wearing a pocket watch, but this will still be able to show and demonstrate how it's taken. Um, you want to take around the natural waist or a little lower, so that the basically the widest point of a, of a, of a person's waist. So that usually is around the love handles. And you just run the tape through, and much like you did with the chest, you leave about a finger's width worth of room in between the tape and the body. And in this case, the jacket waist would be approximately 33 and 3 quarters. So the last measurement that we're going to take is the inside leg measurement. Um, this is obviously, whenever you're going to buy a pair of trousers, this is the measurement they'll often have along with the trouser waist measurement. So you need to be standing with your legs at shoulder width apart. And you want to take one end of the tape and it needs to run from the inseam, which is the inside set leg seam, all the way down the inside of the leg until it reaches just about a quarter of an inch above the heel of the shoe. So in the case of David here, we'd be talking about 29 inches. And that is how to measure for a suit.